Today we're going to take a look at how to create a Skrillex vocal effect. Now I've pulled up Ableton and a dubstep beat I'm working on and I took some samples from one of our new product releases, Dubstep Apocalypse. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to do so. Uh, it's pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and take a listen at what I was able to create. So you can see we've got a nice dubstep track. Now the first thing you want to do is import your vocal cut into your arrangement. And I have mine here in blue. Take me higher, baby. Now you'll want to slice this to a new MIDI track. And in order to do that, you'll have to make sure your warp tab is on. So if that yellow box isn't highlighted, it won't allow you to slice to MIDI. But I just click on my file, excuse me, I right click on my file, I get a drop down menu, and I choose slice to new MIDI track. Now I get this menu box that pops up, and I can create the length of my slice. Um, for this type of thing, I recommend eighth or quarter notes. So that'll help you get some good results. In this case, we're going to choose uh, eighth notes. And for my slicing preset, you have a bunch of different choices here, but just stick with built-in. So I hit OK. And my track was sliced to a new MIDI track for me. So you can see everything laid out on this piano roll here. And before we go any further, I want to mention that the vocal sample we're working with in this demonstration was taken from our House Music Vox sample set. So you can check that out on our website under the vocal section. Now we can begin to rearrange these slices uh, to get that choppy, mangled effect. And you also have these laid out for you on your keyboard or MIDI controller as well. So you could do it that way, but uh, potentially it's, it's easier to do it this way, just to sequence it in. So let's go ahead and start rearranging some of this. And this is just kind of random. Uh, there's no surefire way to do this. You just kind of play with it till you get something you like. Excuse me. Let me move this vocal over here. So again, it's just playing around. So you keep playing around till you get something you like. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on it, but that's the general idea. Once you get a, a lick you're, you're happy with, then you want to start to add some effects. So you want to go on and throw on some auto-tune. Um, and you can use the regular auto-tune or auto-tune effects. The stripped down version works good as well. Uh, we'll set my key here to G minor. Baby. 
Okay, now that we have some auto-tune, click back on your clip here uh, and get your piano roll to pop up with all your MIDI info in it. Now if I just scroll over to my clip and I, I hit this circle with an E on it for my envelope, my envelope box pops up. And what we want to do now is throw in a few pitch bends here and there uh, just to spice this up a bit. So I just click on pitch bend and if I hit Apple B I go into draw mode and I can begin to draw in some pitch bends. And you go through and you add some pitch bends here and there uh, and just tailor it to your liking. So essentially that's how you would do that. Let me close this out here. Once you get your pitch bend the way you like it, uh, then we can go ahead and start to add in some processing effects. You know, some compressors, reverbs, uh, delays, and that sort of thing. So if we look at the example um, that I made in the song, let me just drag a copy of it over here so we can analyze it. So you see, this is the one I did originally. So you see some sequencing, you see my pitch bends and that sort of thing. But here's what it sounds like after it's been processed with effects. <laughs> So again, that's a, a lick I spent, you know, some considerable amount of time on it, but it sounds pretty cool. So if we just look at the effects I have here, I have a compressor, obviously the auto-tune, uh, phaser, a little filter delay, some uh, tremolo or auto-panning, some chorus, and then some reverb. So it's quite a bit of processing on this particular lick, um, but that should give you an idea. And those are all subject to your liking. But again, this has been a look at how to create a Skrillex Vox effect in the beat I made using Dubstep Apocalypse. This is that vocal f effect one last time. <laughs> My name is Slick Nixon and check us out at PlatinumLoops.com.